The Lord is my light and my deliverance. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom shall I be in dread? When those who do evil come against me to tear me apart, when my adversaries and my enemies come against me, they will stumble, they will fall. Though an army of them were encamped against me in battle formations, I will not be afraid. Though they were to bring war against me, even in this, I will be confident. I will trust in my refuge. One thing have I asked from my Lord. The one thing that I seek from Him is to remain in the household of my Lord, to dwell in His presence all the days of my life, to behold the kindness of my Lord and to contemplate and reflect upon Him in His temple. For in the day of misery, He will hide me in the protection of His tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. He will set me in a place of safety and refuge. And then I will overshadow my enemies that surround me. And with shouts of joy, I will sacrifice an offering of thanksgiving in his tent. I will sing. Yes, I will play music and sing praises to my Lord. My Lord, hear my voice and accept my request. I call upon you. Be gracious to me, favor me, and respond to my request. On your behalf, my heart has said, Call on me. My Lord, it is to you that I call. Do not withdraw your favor from me. Do not, in anger, turn your servant away. For you alone are my help. Do not give up on me or abandon me, God of my deliverance. For if my father and my mother were to abandon me, still will my Lord care for me. My Lord, Teach me your way. Lead me in the even way that leads to life for the sake of my watchful enemies. Do not surrender me to my passionate enemies, for there have appeared against me witnesses who swear to falsehood, and their witness is violence. If I had not believed and gained an understanding of the goodness of my Lord in the land of the living, wait with your mind turned towards our Lord. Be courageous and confident and be strong in your heart. Yes, look eagerly and wait with your mind focused on our Lord.